Good morning, good morning everyone and welcome in a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very hot day today here at Pradland from myself, Rexon, and BK behind the camera. We are looking for a great morning show underneath this beautiful, beautiful uh, sunrise. Could be a lot of things that are uh, starting to move now as the sun are rising perfectly from the east that you know that in most cases that tells all different kind of species to have an energy to move in sort of a different area for grazing and also for hunting of course even going uh, to the water source uh, light is more important remember all these um, antelope uh, if it's still dark in the morning they cannot move but once it's sun rise they can able to see anything that might be really moving around in the area we are really impressed with how it looked it might be really uh, clearing uh, early, I mean, later on. Great, uh, we have this beautiful, beautiful kudu here. They're all like uh, five or six, all of them. These are the bachelor boys. All the time when they find kudu or buffalo, elephants, impala, once they started to create their own bachelor boys, it's all about the, the healthy conditions. They're all more concerned about themselves. They need as much as they can away from the female and choose the area where it could be a much more food and viability of course of the water source where they can enjoy without interaction of mating and other stuff. Great, uh, beautiful here. We have breeding herd of an elephant. As you know that followed by fox tail drunk. We just saw unbelievable. You can hear that that it's a youngster seeking wow. an attention from the mother to stop in order to nest. It's now a time because this animal, elephant, because the home brain species, they walk kilometers at night, uh, non-stop feeding. So the youngster by now, it tells you that it's tired. It's time to get an attention from the mother in order to nest. It's in the nature of a youngster. Once they feel like they're so tired, they will give that uh, kind of... Uh, a call to let the mother to give a little bit of a moment where it can nest from the mother. It's really beautiful. Most of the time, you tend to see once the youngster do this, the female will start to slow down. The rest of the head, they're not going to move. They might take time here, not moving very fast because the youngster now that are tired, they need, of course, to nest from the mother. The breeding herd of elephant here, yeah, it's such amazing. We see number of number of an elephant. I believe the elephant that you can see here at Pride and Echo Training Safari Life in a day. It could be over 100 up to 200 elephants in a very good day. We have found a spectacular sighting of Fricky, the wildebeest. And Fricky has just heard that he's gone live on camera, and so he has stood up to show us his magnificent visage. Hello, Fricky. How are you today? Well done for making it through the night. <clears throat> I can't help thinking his attitude to us, or maybe it's just me, is dismissive. Maybe not. He's turned as if to say, No, it's just that I'm shy. And also, I've heard that you love to look at animal bottoms. And so here, I am showing you mine. As he chews his cud. So, I suppose, quite a tricky time of the year for all of the herbivorous animals out here, and especially those that like fresh grass, there is not a lot of fresh grass around. It's all dry, and they've got another two months of this, at least two and a half months of this dry stuff before it'll turn green with a bit of rain. We've managed to find some Ellie's, which is always a treat. I thoroughly enjoy spending time with elephants. It's not a particularly big herd. There's kind of four or five of them that are sort of moving around. I don't know if we're just on the tail end at the moment, um, but they are very, very much stationary and just having a lazy morning feed. 
which I suppose is fair enough. Um, there's a bit of a breeze that's blowing, and so coming down towards the drainage lines seems like a far better idea. Um, but no sign of Mulawati. I checked that other mud wallow. It's dry, so there's no no point in him going there. And you can see they're kind of gingerly feeding. It's not any sort of rush going on at the moment. Um, it's a slow, steady feed. I'm just breaking little branches here and there. Kind of enjoying a bit of sunshine, I would imagine, as well after a grey, cold day yesterday. It's uh, nice to have a bit of morning sun if you're an Ellie. You can see that Ellie looks very content, doesn't it, as it chews on its branch. Above the Ellie is also a brown hooded kingfisher, which is quite cool. So, Wiki, you say you love me some elephants? I think we all do. Uh, elephants are amazing animals. I really, really, really have a lot of time for Ellie's. Um, they're gentle and relaxing, and I don't know, I find them relaxing. Some people don't, but. Um, I find sitting with a herd of elephants to be a very peaceful, kind of calming thing. Um, but that's the brown-headed kingfisher that I was talking about, sitting very prettily in the sun. Just turned its back now, and you can see the sort of iridescence um, of that blue wingtip, and then that brown head which gives it its name. I wonder if those lions haven't heard these buffalo and are starting to trail them. It's not actually that far from where these buffalo are. It's the same herd that Cedric had this morning. We were just looking for any signs of Shadu in the cub tracks and kind of just bumped into them at Trias Dam and it's quite a beautiful scene with all the buffalo spread out around the dam um, so we thought we'd just stop off with them for a little bit but yeah, there's a complete broken telephone this morning with tracks um, for Shadulu and Cub I eventually found the guys that are actually following the tracks and they're in Arethusa, deep, deep, deep into Arethusa um, so there's nowhere near Juma um, they're busy following them around a road called Chololo, and Chololo is kind of close to Samambili. Oh, there is a brand, brand, brand new little baby buffalo. I wonder if that wasn't born this morning. I see the mom's busy grooming it. You see across the dam there, to the right of where you are. There you go. Mom is busy licking it. That thing is tiny, 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 tiny. I don't know if, know if it's standing yet. Well, we managed to find our male lion. It didn't take too long. Um, he's in the block behind these buffalo. I just decided instead of taking the road kind of after I heard where you'd crossed, uh, there's a two track that runs from Treehouse Dam straight to Shibamu Road and there's lots of termite mounds there and when lions are trailing buffalo the best place to look is on a termite mound. I don't know why it is but they love to get up onto mounds to watch the herd. So I was saying to Rian just check the mounds as we go through this block. I'm sure we're gonna find him here somewhere and sure enough there he was, sitting on top of a mound. He's probably about 200 meters behind the herd at the moment. Um, just watching towards the dam and checking out those buffalo. I'm sure eventually he'll kind of come down and start heading towards the dam itself as the buffalo drift. It is starting to obviously get warm now and, and, and hotter and, and that's obviously going to mean that it's difficult for a lion to keep going. Um, but depending on how hungry he is and depending on um, whether this breeze stays up because there's this cool breeze blowing it might dictate him actually carrying on um, and trailing the buffalo throughout the day as to which male lion it is I'm not 100% sure yet um, kind of need to go through a few of the ID kits it's there's so many of these young boys that are around at the moment between these guys and I mean the Kinkumas, the Talamatis, the um, Kambulas there's lots of young boys that's have been on the prowl and so I'm gonna try I'm gonna think maybe that it's one of the Nkuhuma boys but let's see whether it is or not he's got quite distinctive scars all over him um, particularly on his right side of his muzzle there's a, a scar through his whisker line always enjoy when you get kind of cats drinking. It would be nice if he put his bum down. I always prefer it when their bottoms are are down. I think it uh, often makes for a better sort of frame, but seemingly not the case for him today. Anyway, we're going to sit with him while he drinks, and then I'm sure he's going to go find a little spot to lie down.